Hi, my name is Chris Kazmarek, and I'm one of top test preps ACT experts. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the ACT math section. There are three general tips that I have that will make the quest for a high math score a little bit easier than just going at the test blind. Number one, you should always be figuring out what you need before you attack a particular problem. What I usually recommend to do to figure out what you need is to underline the last section of the question in between the last comma and the question mark. Then you'll know exactly what each answer choice represents. With that in mind, after every calculation that you do, if you think that it might be an answer, go back to your underline section, ask yourself, okay, is this really what I'm looking for? If it is, of course, you can circle that answer choice and go on. If it's not, however, you may need to do a little bit more calculation. There are two more strategies that can help you get to those answer choices with doing as minimal math as possible, which is always really great. Um, number one is going to be to choose your own numbers. This is a strategy that's applicable in cases when you've got variables in the question and the answer choices. What you can do is instead of using abstract variables, x and y per se, you can fill in your own numbers, 2 and 3 per se. The only thing about this is that you have to fill in the 2 and 3 respectively for your x and y in the question and the answer both. It works really great, and it helps turn really complicated algebra problems a lot, lot easier. Finally, a strategy that may be even better than picking your own numbers is just plugging in from the answer choices. This is a strategy that's applicable when the answer is in the form of actual numbers. What you can do here is, instead of picking your own numbers for abstract variables, you can plug it in right from the answer choices. So the test has essentially done a lot of the work for you. Once again, this can make very complicated algebra problems a lot easier and save you a lot of time and stress while you're taking the ACT math section.